Hey, what's happening? Y'all, it's me coming back at you again with another vid. Well, I'm going to go ahead and deliver some news for the first time in a long while. <laughs> um, I'm sure those of you, um, some of you have already caught up to this already, but for those who haven't, um, Luis Ortiz has just signed with Al Heyman. Um, so, according to this article of a boxing scene, um, this is more of a managerial deal, so obviously Al Heyman is not a promoter. So uh, Luis Ortiz will still be promoted by um, his current promoter, Day Promotions. Um, but at the same time, it kind of um, begs to differ on the question here regarding um, his deal, deal with Matchroom. Um, was that a uh, temporary deal, a two, three dip fight deal? Because I was not aware of that. So where does that stand at this point? Um, if anyone has any more information on this, please let me know. Um, I felt that Luis Ortiz should have signed with Al Heyman in the beginning. Because Al Heyman has a way bigger stable of, of heavyweight fights that Ortiz can um, make fights with, like Gerald Washington and, uh, of course, Deontay Wilder, the WBC champion, Arthur Spilka, Chris Ariella, the Travis Kaufmans. I mean, Arizo Olio's washed up, obviously, so I wouldn't want to see that fight. Ishu Gano, the upcoming heavyweight, Dominic Brazil, Amir Mansoor. I mean, there's a lot of fights that could be made with, uh, with Ortiz uh, under the Heyman stable, so... Um, definitely um, a choice that he should have made in the beginning. Um, then again, I had no problem with his signing with, signing with Eddie Hearn either because Eddie Hearn and Al Heyman has a great working relationship um, from my understanding, although Eddie has criticized Al to some extent. Um, and Eddie treats his fighters pretty well, so I had no problem with him signing with him then. But then again, yeah, I think this was a better move. Um, you know, definitely Ortiz is getting up in age. I mean, obviously he is older. <laughs> he is old guy. Um, but you know, definitely um, father time can't catch up with you um, as you know as you age. Um, for those of you who are gonna more likely criticize this move by Ortiz, because that will happen, because um, many people have you know there are many people out there who disdain Al Heyman, which you know from my you know which I can't understand at this point. And again, I'll be consistent. I've criticized Al Heyman in the past myself, given the fact that he was not putting on great shows until recently. Over the you know the last couple of years or so, he's been doing doing so, but yet he still gets criticized. But you know he doesn't get any praise uh, from the other faction. But um, you should um, be happy that Ortiz is signed with Heyman. And the reason why I say that because he is a step closer, in my opinion, to getting shot at Deontay Wilder. Because this is a fight that you guys wanted to see for such a long period of time. Now, I know Wilder and his team had came out about a month ago who shot down the idea of fighting Luis Ortiz when um, Andrew Warsick had to pull out of a fight due to a, a failed drug test. Um, because Wilder's team said that we're not going to fight a, a, a drug offender to that, you know, to that extent. Um, pretty much attacking Luis Ortiz. Yeah, Wilder does not get any. Um, they don't get any slack from me for um, from that comment because first of all, that is a blatant duck right there at that um, for them for doing that. Okay, uh, I just believe that. I just think that uh, Ortiz, you know, is a very dangerous heavyweight. We all know that, and Wilder needs to fight him. Bottom line, and the fact that Ortiz did get caught, yes, in the past for anabolic steroids after the Ky the Latif Coyote fight, I get that, but that was his only one-time offense. He's been clean ever since. That's what that, that fight was with three years ago, four years ago, I believe. He hasn't been caught ever since, and he is re registered to fight a testing. So, Luis Ortiz has been playing by the rules ever since that he got popped the first time. So, Wilder and his team they can't use that as an excuse not to fight him. Okay, point blank. He has to fight Luis Ortiz. I'm telling you that right now. So, anyhow, I think this is pretty good news. Um, a, a lot of um, on championship fights can be made now with Ortiz, with these other heavyweights that I've mentioned. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, Ortiz's last fight was against uh, Dave Allen over there in the UK. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about this move? And who do you think Luis Ortiz should fight? Um, do you think he should fight Gerald Washington, even though he's coming off the loss? Do you think he should fight uh, Dominic Brazil? That'd be an interesting matchup. Do you think he should fight uh, Israel Gano, the upcoming heavyweight? Uh, Arthur Schmilka, or I mean, or even Charles Martin, even though he's saying he might come back. <laughs> that could still be an interesting matchup, even though I'll favor Luis, Luis Ortiz to win most of those fights, uh, with the exception of. Um, well, obviously, um, well, I favor, I favor Ortiz to beat all these guys. 
Um, the only guy that I'm pretty unsure of is Deontay Wilder. So, um, yeah. But let's not forget, though, Ortiz is the mandatory challenger of the winner of uh, Klitschko versus uh, Joshua. So, um, so basically, uh, what is the you know what does this mean? Uh, what does that mean um, from uh, from another standpoint? Because now that um, based off my understanding, it doesn't look like he's he's with Eddie Hearn anymore uh, as far as his promotion is concerned. So. Uh, it looks like Dave Promotions will have 100% control of his promotional rights. So what does that mean for his mandatory shot against Anthony Joshua? If Joshua does succeed against Klitschko, does that fight still go on? Does jo Joshua vacate the title so that way he doesn't have to fight him? I mean, I hope that doesn't happen. This, this is just, just hypotheticals I'm throwing out there because I don't want this signing of Heyman jeopardize his potential shot at the winner of Joshua. More likely, it could be Anthony Joshua if he does become the winner or um, Vladimir Klitschko. So I would love to see him in the ring with those guys as well, as well as his Heyman aim, aim fighters. Um, but in the meantime, he should fight one of the Heyman fighters now that he signed with Al Heyman just to stay active. So that way he, he doesn't have to wait too long for the winner of Klitschko and, um, and Joshua, which that fight will happen in one month. So let me know what your thoughts are. I'm out. Peace.